morning and welcome to Zion, the church where God dwells among his people. We are so excited that you are here. Get ready. Today, your life will be blessed because you are in the presence of the Lord. Because it is a fact, God dwells here. This is your ZBC Communicate Exposé, world-renowned church news. Today, the Voices of Zion will serve at the Emmanuel Baptist Church in Newport News as special musical guests. We know that they will do well today. Let us go and support them as they lift up Jesus in song. Join us each Sunday for 8 a.m. worship. If you are looking for a time of worship that will fit your early schedule, then attend worship at Zion at 8 a.m. in the chapel. Park your car on 20th Street and walk right into the chapel for 8 a.m. worship. This service is designed to be short, but effective. And then after the worship, breakfast is served. Don't miss the next 8 a.m. morning glory worship service. It promises to be a great blessing. This week, there will be no revival service. Please lift up Pastor Stephen Blunt who is recovering from illness and also his church family. Take time to spend with your family this week and get ready for the final week of revival on September 25th. And it continues. Set your schedule and get ready as we welcome Reverend Dr. William Curtis pastor of the Mount Arat Baptist Church, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Our musical guests will be the highly sought after Maurice and Chosen and young people. We haven't left you out for the last week of revival. Pastor Ray will have a special message for the youth and youth choirs from area churches will join us to sing. Let's make the final night of revival amazing right here in Zion, the church where God dwells among his people. Good morning Zion family. Something exciting is coming very soon to the ministry of Zion. It is a new ministry that I know that many of you will certainly be interested in joining. In the Bible, there are several examples where the church in which we know it has been called the house of prayer. Prayer is important in the lives of God's people. And we are so excited to announce the Zion Baptist Church Prayer Ministry. This ministry will not take the place of I pray each Wednesday, but it is yet another avenue of prayer with the people of God. This ministry will meet for one hour on an announced time in which we will pray together. Anybody interested in joining this new ministry, please see Miss Denise Walden after sir service today and let's plan for a power time of prayer together attention all associate ministers please make notes on your calendars now and plan to attend ministerial importation on september 26 in the chapel be sure to come ready to join in on the conversation as we discuss topics that will effectively empower you as a preacher in today's world. Remember, September 26th at 
7 p.m. Well, we're on the road again. Yes, I know you took a second look and hope you are listening in. Yes, you heard right. On the road again. And this time, we are headed to North Carolina. Everybody, everywhere, join Pastor Johnson on the first Sunday in October after the morning worship as we travel to the Union Chapel Baptist Church. A bus is being secured for travel. Call the church office to sign up quickly. There is a refundable fee of only $10 to hold your seat. All choir, ushers, officers, members, and friends. Let's go down to North Carolina in great big numbers. They will never forget that Zion was present. Calling all men. Remember, brothers, this coming fifth Sunday morning at 9 a.m., the men are gathering together to encourage and empower one another. Invite every brother you see and let them know that Sunday, September 29th at 9 a.m., only for one hour, we will chop it up and let the chips fall where they may. Come on out and let's have a great time. There will be a mandatory training workshop for all deaconess on Saturday, September 28th from 11 to 1 p.m. Please be sure to mark this important date on your calendar and please be present and on time. Congratulations are in order and certainly given to trustee Christopher Jones. Chris is celebrating 20 years of work and service with the Army and Air Force Exchange. Chris considers his employment a rich blessing and he is proud to be affiliated with such a great company. Congratulations Chris and continue to do a great job. There are birthday celebrations in the air and today we want to wish our chairman of deacons, Deacon Howard Brown, a very happy birthday. Attention everybody, this is an announcement from a special lady who has a husband that has just turned 80. She is happy and loves him like crazy. Help her wish and celebrate her husband who just turned 80. Happy 80th birthday, Deacon Wilson, from your wife who loves you greatly. A special happy anniversary is given to Deacons Robert and Anita Turner. The Turners are celebrating 55 years of being joined together as husband and wife. If you see them, celebrate with them. Happy anniversary. That's all Zionites. May God certainly be with you. Have a blessed week.